Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and today is Thirsty Thursday. It is time to make a drink and it feels like it has been forever since I've made a drink on my channel. <laughs> I don't know why. So it must be time for a drink. Anyway, <laughs> before I get started, if this is your first time here, you love food, fun, and drinks, go ahead, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and check the description below. You will find details on how subscribing helps to feed the hungry. So today we're going to make a pumpkin pie martini. And I saw this, I saw this on Pinterest when I was looking for you know, Halloween recipes and I was going to make it for Halloween, but then I found all those really fun recipes like the poison frog and the vampire kiss. So I thought I'm going to save this one for Thanksgiving. So that's what I did. But this is so easy, so easy. <laughs> I mean, literally it's two ingredients. So, oh, the other thing is though, the hardest part is just making it look pretty. So last time I did, was it the poison frog, I think? We had corn syrup on the rim of the glass, and oh, I didn't like that. So today I'm using the last little bit of honey I have. So I'm just rolling the top of my martini glass in that, and then in some graham cracker crumbs. So this is going to be like the pie crust. And then for our drink, it literally is equal parts of, I have to think what I put in here. I measured it out in advance, so I'd make sure I measured it right. Rum shotta. So one and a half ounces of rum shotta and one and a half ounces of pumpkin pie coffee creamer. And I forgot the part to shake this up with. Hold on. <laughs> See, I'm always trying to put that in there <laughs> and shake it up and that won't work. That's nice and cold. We always keep like rum shotta and like the strawberry baileys and all that stuff on hand, especially the caramel around the holidays because everybody likes to put it in their coffee. All right, so we are going to drain this in our glass. So it was one and a half ounces each. And you know what? This didn't fill my glass all the way. So I might do two ounces of each. And then we're going to put a little bit of pumpkin pie. Actually, we should probably do the whipped cream first. Oh, oh gosh, look at that. <laughs> That's not very pretty. That's not going to make for a good picture. All right. Oh my gosh. It's so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, here. Okay, let's just try. I need a drink now. Must be good. I went in for a second drink <laughs> before I said anything. Yes, it's really good. First time I've made this. Mm -hmm. That is really, really good. That would be perfect for like, if you really don't want to eat dessert after Thanksgiving because you're really full. <laughs> and it's sweet. So I really like that. Anyway, how easy was that though? Besides me getting the whipped cream all over myself. <laughs> I hope you guys give those a try because it is good. I thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next Thursday with another drink recipe. Bye.